Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Mr. Coffee Prima Latte Lux. So here I got my espresso shot all ready to go. Let's do a number two latte. Hit the start button. It's gonna froth the milk first and then it's gonna do the double shot espresso. Okay, it's done with frothing the milk. Now it's gonna do the double shot. We'll have a layer of hot milk. The espresso shot will be in the middle and then the foam will be on top. It's all automatic and, and finishes when it's done. Okay, so now here we've got our nice drink. Let's add our, if we wanna make a white chocolate mocha, add, a little, add about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of white chocolate, maybe even a little bit of chocolate. I'm gonna make a French vanilla, about two tablespoons, which is about four pumps. All we gotta do is kinda of just stir it up in there a little bit. I like to add a little bit of chocolate syrup to the top. Let's give that a taste. That's a nice, hot tasting drink. Okay, so let's see how I did that. We're gonna take the portafilter off. There's our espresso shot. Now the manual says just take this to a trash can and tamp it out, but a knockbox does work really nice. Now I'll take this to the sink, rinse this all out, and get it all nice and dry. Okay, so let's take a look at the Prima Latte Lux. Here we've got a double shot filter. This is our portafilter, and we have a single shot. I'll be doing double shots today. We got a little plastic tamper that we're gonna tamp it down with, and we got this really nice scoop. It's called the No Mess Scoop. So the machine looks really nice. Around back, we do have a water reservoir that we can take on and off. On the right side, there is a power switch. So we are supposed to turn it off when we're done using it, but it will go into a standby mode after you've not used it for a while. Also, when you first get it, there is a, a, a red plug on the bottom of the reservoir. Make sure you remove that. So we're gonna put it to the line position, which is the on. Here's the control panel. When you first turn it on, this is the status light. This is gonna walk itself across. When it gets all the way to the other side, it'll give you just a very small beep. That means it's ready to go and these other buttons are activated and you can start using it. This takes anywhere from three, maybe four minutes. It doesn't take very long. It's just heating the water internally. Here we have a milk frother. Now you simply just pull the milk frother towards you and it comes off. It's got a little release button here. That's how you're gonna fill it up with milk. It says you can put any milk in there you want. Um, almond milk, 2%. I got 2% in there right now. We'll take this apart and clean this in a little bit. When you're done, just put it back on. There's the milk frothing one. You can move in and out. Now to put this back on, the really nice feature about this is you can take this off. It does come with this lid, so we can take this off, put this lid on the jug, and put this whole thing in the refrigerator until we're ready to use it next time. Okay, so let's fill up the milk jug. Let's put some 2% milk in it. Okay, once this is filled up, you're simply gonna slide it in. These two things are gonna kinda go in there and it kinda snaps into place. So just hold the machine and you hear it kinda click. The lights will light up then. Okay, so now let's take it. It's got a really nice display. Again, this is touch screen. So those status bars are all the way across. It had a very small beep. Now I can do a single a double shot, that this is espresso only. It will not do the milk frother. I can do a latte, a single latte or a double latte. And then I just hit the start button. Or I can do a single or a double cappuccino. It's all automatic, it's gonna froth the milk, then do the double shot espresso when I hit the play button. If I wanna add some, I can add some espresso. That's called the add button. And then I still have to hit this play button or the start button and I'll have to stop it manually. Same with the frother. I can add some froth to it, and then uh, I have to start it and stop it with this button, whereas these buttons are automatic. Once you press the start button, it will stop automatically. This is the clean button. We're gonna press this when we wanna clean the milk frother at the end. And that little bitty light right there, that's to let you know that it's time to descale. So we do have this drip tray. We can take this drip tray out. Now we have this little red one. We can do a latte or cappuccino with this drip tray out but this little red one might fill up pretty quick and then you gotta empty it out separately. So I really like that they've got this design. Now I can put a nice big travel mug, 
make sure the porta filter is installed, but the size I can put in there is seven and a quarter inches. Now with this drip tray installed, and again, I can use it without the drip tray installed, six and a half. If I want to move this up, just the metal part you move up and you can put a little small glass right here. Okay, so I've got a coffee grinder here. You are gonna have to grind your own coffee. It does take the ESE pod, the easy serving pod. I'm not gonna be doing that today. I'm gonna to be using my coffee just to add simple sip, dark roast. I've got it in the OXO grinder over here on the fine setting, about three. If you're using kind of like a spice grinder or a, a little a Mr. Coffee grinder, just grind it a little bit longer and it'll make it a little bit finer. Here's what you're going for. This is medium ground coffee for a drip coffee maker. This is espresso ground, ground coffee. You can see how it's, is a, it's just finer. That's what we need for this espresso machine. Drip coffee maker at a medium grind will not work in it. Now, if you don't have a coffee grinder, they do this Cafe Bastelio. It is ground at, a, at an espresso grind. So it is ground at a fine grind. You can use this. I've used this in here and it works pretty good. So I'm gonna do a double shot espresso. I've got the double shot filter in. Here's my coffee. The scoop is, that's the double shot scoop and the single shot scoop. So let's try this out. This is kind of a neat scoop. You're just going to fill it up, kind of get it off the edges a little bit. Maybe just a little bit more. Yeah, right about there. Now you're supposed to put the scoop on the table, take the porta filter, turn it upside down. There's a little recessed area for it. Then just kind of rotate it. And then dump these over together. And now there's your coffee in there. Now you're supposed to take your tamper. That's the correct amount of coffee. Now you're not supposed to tamp it super hard, but just kind of like tamp it straight down. I do have some excess here. Get that off the ears. We don't want this going into the coffee machine. So just wipe that off. I just kind of tamp it again a little bit. There's a little bit of loose stuff on there. So we don't want it all the way up to the top, but we want it just to recess a little bit. Okay, now we're ready for it. I've got the machine on, our bars are all the way across. We're just gonna put it in at an angle and then you rotate. I have to hold the machine a little bit, rotate it till it's at a 90 degree angle. Okay, I put the drip tray up. I'm only gonna do an espresso shot. I'm not gonna do the milk frother. I'll do that here in a second. Now I'm gonna come over here, press the two shot. I gotta press this button twice and that two is lit up. Now all I do is press the play button and it's gonna start automatically. Here comes the espresso shot. I'm gonna try to take a temperature. Man, that's pretty hot, 187, 186. And there it is. Looks like it did a pretty good job with it. And again, it's all automatic. It finishes on itself, turns itself. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, that looks like it did a pretty good job. And it's pretty hot, 156. Now, I can't drink these straight. I have to have a latte or a cappuccino, but that looks pretty good. And again, very simple cleanup. Just rotate this handle. Sometimes there can be a little water on there, but this one looks like it did good. Okay, so let's do a cappuccino. I've got my double shot in there again. I've tamped it down. Rotate this. Okay, so put your cup in there. Make sure this is directed towards it. Again, we're gonna do a cappuccino, double. Press the start. That milk coming out is very hot. It's only able to froth hot milk. And I'm getting about 150, 150 degrees coming out. But it is very silky. So now it's gonna do the double shot espresso. And for a cappuccino, I probably would have done a single shot. That's going to be a lot of espresso for not much milk. Because it still runs the same amount. If you do a double cappuccino, a double latte, or a double espresso, it's still the same amount. You're going to get that much in the drink. It's just with a cappuccino, you get less milk. Okay, so there's our drink. We add our syrups, nice flavors. This makes a really good drink. Let's take a look here, take this out. Now what's proven to be kind of difficult is getting the puck out. So here's the double shot latte, cappuccino, double shot espresso. Now some of the foam has gone down. The foam was up here quite a bit, 
but you can see these are different size drinks. Okay, let's do the single shot now. I am starting to like this scoop. Um, it's actually pretty nice, you can, but it's, it's all about getting the right amount, not getting too much, and try not to get it on this little lip. So, okay, we put this on the ground. And again, we put the, I got the single shot in there now. Put it on there. Rotate the two, it can be tricky. Rotate it over. There's the single shot. Now you're gonna take the tamper, tamp it down. Not super hard, but not super light. I did get just a little bit excess right there. Now we can put this in. Yeah, this is turning out to be very simple to operate. Put the, put the porta filter in, hold the machine, turn it. Okay, let's do a single cappuccino now. Again, just the one is lit up. Now hit the play button. It's gonna do a froth the milk and then do a single shot. There's the single shot coming out. Now we do, do, you do get just a little beep at the end there. Looks like we get about the same amount of milk, maybe a little bit less milk, but definitely a lot less espresso. Okay, so let's go over cleanup real quick. I'm gonna do, I don't have the porta filter in, but do a single shot. That'll kind of clean the espresso head the shower head, if it's got some grounds on it. That water coming out is gonna be really hot, so be careful. We can see, yeah, there's some coffee grounds in there. Now let's clean the milk frother. Rotate this, not all the way to unlock, but rotate it to the clean position. Press the clean button. We have to press the play button now. And this will start and stop on its own. Okay, so that takes less than a minute. Be careful, that's really hot. Simply just, again, pull this straight out. And now let's take a look at this. We, do, we can take this apart. And now I would simply just put the lid on, put this in the refrigerator for next time. Be careful, some of these things are hot. Now I can rotate this to the unlock. This will come out. This just pulls out like this. This pulls off. Now be careful with this too. We can rotate this to the unlock position and then this pulls out. There is a little, we may have to clean that really good once in a while. There's like a little pinhole right there. That's as far as we can take it apart. I can take this to the sink, get this all nice and clean and put it back together. So I did use my own coffee, this Just A Dad Dark Roast Simple Sip. I'm gonna be releasing it really soon. We're, we're finalizing bag design. So I thought Mr. Coffee did a really good job. I really like that you can do taller things now. That was kind of, they've got like four models of this now. This is the very latest model that just got released. I like that you can take the drip tray out. We can put a taller mug in there. That's a very nice feature. Now I will be comparing it to this Mr. Coffee Cafe Barista. This one's been out. This was my very first espresso machine. And I think about five years, maybe six years ago, made a white chocolate mocha with it. I will be comparing it to this one. They also have another one touch for 282 that I'll be comparing it with. So they just released this. This is the Prima Latte Lux. I bought it for $350, which that is kind of expensive. I mean, I'm seeing price now of $454 on Amazon. I'm not sure why it jumped up that much. They've done kind of a soft release because um, I haven't seen them advertise this at all. I don't even know if I saw it on the Mr. Coffee website. It only is showing up on the Amazon website right now. I think eventually it'll show up on the Mr. Coffee website. They'll be sending out emails. They'll really start promoting this. This is a really nice latte and cappuccino maker. I actually really do like the scoop. I thought it did a really good job because it can be messy getting that in there. The only one area is being a little tricky is getting the puck out. I've kind of made a couple messes sometimes. They've really redesigned the milk frother. I didn't think there was that much wrong with the other milk frothers. This one might be a little simpler. It's a little tricky. I mean, sometimes getting it on and off, you, you kind of think there's a release button, but you just got to press it on until it snaps on, then the lights will come on. And again, if you don't have a coffee grinder, this Cafe Bastelio is ground at an espresso grind. 
and it works really well in this machine. It's got a fine grind to it that you can buy just already ground. So if we look at the box art, they are really promoting commuter approved. You can brew right into a travel mug. Yeah, that is very nice feature that I thought was lacking on some of the other ones. It says the less mess coffee scoop. I actually do agree with that. You know, their manuals are getting better. They do kind of talk about the ground coffee, how important that is. It talks about the uh, ESE pods. I'm, I'm not, probably gonna have to buy some of those. I've never really used those pods. But they kind of devote a whole page to that scoop. And if you kind of follow the directions of how to use the scoop, it actually works pretty good. One other thing, I wish they would kind of like, they don't give you, a, like this is the clean position. This is the unlock position where you, you know, take it out. Um, they don't give you much as far as, you know, like, is this variable between here and here? Sometimes, usually they got like a latte position and a cappuccino position. This just has like a cappuccino position. And again, the milk frother does come all apart. Just pull it out. And again, you've got that lid. But again, we can take this all apart. We can take this part off back here for cleaning. The knob comes out for cleaning. And then this just pulls out, pulls straight forward. And then get, you can get this all nice and clean. Take that off. They're also really advertising that it's no matter the milk, you get really smooth, even oat milk, it says. So they, maybe that's kind of why they redesigned the milk frother. I haven't had any problems with it though, but it only froths hot. You cannot froth cold. You could use the espresso shot to make an iced coffee, but you can't froth cold milk. Yeah, I really do like the looks of the machine. I think it looks really nice. Be sure and check out my Just A Dad videos group page on Facebook. This is where I do my free giveaways. So when I'm done with these products, I do end up giving them away. I just released my first podcast, Coffee With Dad Podcast, Episode 1. And again, I'm going to be branding my own coffee. This is the bag we're working on. It's going to be available really soon. Whole bean, ground coffee, and in the K-cup form. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really does help out my YouTube channel. Really appreciate everybody's support. Again, if you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Okay, Miss Fiona's just waiting in the chair. I think she'll take a nap eventually.